Hello all you space engineers out there, Commander Kingfish here, and I am back in Space Engineers Industrial Overhaul, uh, version 1.61, and we are in day 22, I believe, or is it 23? I can't remember, been on the rock for a while. So I just noticed I need to go and grab something to eat. Uh, did not realize I was getting that low on food. So we'll run down here and grab some uh, uh, food real quick. Uh, also grab a little more gravel. Uh, I was still running into a bit of a power issue. And so I kind of resolved it sort of. Uh, but it's still going to need to have an immediate uh, we're going to have to do a, a, a fix of some sort. So here let me grab some food. Five is usually enough although it's probably going to suck that down fairly quickly. There it goes. Let's grab uh, five more. And then that means we need to get rid of the organic waste. Uh, I'm actually throwing that in a different spot. We do need to get rid of the gray water. And let's uh, make some uh, water from that. We'll reclaim it. And there we go. That's got that. Uh, we need to get at least 15 more of these going. 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, which means we are going to be short on water. Let's, uh, well, hell. Let's do this. Let's grab all of that. And let's get some water going. 10, 20. We'll put that ahead of that. Uh, I need to grab some ice, which which I have some stored right here. I'll just grab all of this. And get this into here. One of these days, we are actually going to have a better farming system. So we're not just eating synthetic food. Uh, we'll put... this up here see how we're doing still not quite enough drinking water I wish it would transfer it up it, uh, it doesn't do that so let me do this Put that up there now let's go and see how we're doing that up there. Is that all the water? Yeah, it's starting to make... So, let's see. It says it has enough now. So we should be good. Let me throw more ice in there. And then we'll get another 10 packets of these into the queue. And we should be set there. Let me get... need to get rid of this organics. I think I'm going to be able to use that when it comes time for the farming. So we'll throw the organics in here. It just takes up an awful lot of space. We can put this excess ice in here. And okay. So today I want to go after that unknown signal and then go grab some coal because I think I kind of uh, forgot something or didn't think about something on the last episode when we were dealing with the carbon issue. Also, I was still running into a... Oh shoot, I want to wonder what... Well, I was still running into a power issue 
with uh, uh, when I threw some gravel into the uh, refinery. So by turning all of the batteries on the flying machine, on the uh, respawn pod, my survival kit, and uh, my cargo hauler, it uh, gives it that power that it needs uh, or that supplemental power and that's one thing that I want to work on and I have an idea on how we can do take care of that for the base because I don't want to necessarily have to have the base relying on all these vehicles for power so we can do that I also can build solar panels which will help and I'm probably going to actually put another hydrogen tank or hydrogen engine in and that will help there as well but I want to go and grab that uh, unknown signal before it goes away and uh, then I want to go and grab some coal and bring it back and I think by throwing that coal into the refinery it will make carbon as well so let me get going and I will catch back up with you uh, once I'm out at the uh, unknown signal. Alright, I am just about to the unknown signal. Let's see what we got out here. We'll get it ground down. And... Still managing to, to drive the cargo truck without too much problem. Down to four minutes. Almost there. Here we go. Alright, I don't think it's one that's going to take off and go flying away. Let's park this. Uh, get out. Get the grinder ready. No, it's not one of those flying ones anyway. All right, well, let's see what we got in the inventory here. Uh, lots of food. Let's grab all of the stuff. And let's see if we get something. Ah, badger rifle. I don't know how many of those I got. Yeah, visit the medical room. We can't do that for a while yet. Let's get all of this stuff ground down. Oh, holds. Getting too excited there. Come on, back up a little bit. Okay. Again, that lithium battery is giving us uh, valuable uh, materials to produce, like the advanced computers and stuff. All right. I am going to head over to the coal field, and once I get over there, I will uh, catch back up with you all. Okay, I am here at the coal fields. Uh, you can kind of see it's all patchy all around here. We're about 48, uh, it's about 48 meters down or away. So let's, uh, I'm going to get started here. I'm going to kind of show you what I do for my uh, 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 naming conventions. So right now I am going to add a new GPS new from current and I'm going to call this uh, M for mine we'll go coal and uh, I usually say mine after it or just leave it as coal and then this way I can get rid of this uh, and we can just delete that. That way 
F stands for cold f for f for field. So if I haven't found anything yet, like nickel, I haven't mined for it. So uh, that just has uh, stand for field. I've been there. But uh, M stands for mine, so I'm creating a coal mine. And let's do this. Kneel down. And where did it go? It's right... Uh, I should be able to start drilling straight down. And kind of moving forward, there should be a lot of coal here. And we're going to kind of start trying to stay level since I don't have so yeah this we should be doing pretty good here I'm trying to stay level and we're still on a slight angle and I think we're getting into the coal here so and that's more than enough let's see if we can walk out of here well actually let's make sure I did get coal I did okay this is just a so I'm pretty positive that oh there we go okay and yeah we did pretty good on getting down into the coal field all right so that's our coal mine let's uh, head back because I'm pretty sure I can throw this coal into the refinery and it'll make carbon for us so that we didn't necessarily have to go through all the incinerator it's still good to have the incinerator so that we can get rid of stuff that we don't need but also this will probably generate more carbon than uh, we would have just from using the incinerator. So let's pull over here by the refinery. And let's throw this coal in there. Park it. All right, let's hop out here. And let's see what happens. There we go. Look at all that carbon we're producing. Yep. I should have thought of that before, but that's okay. We'll go ahead and throw the stone in here now, too. Okay, let me get this parked. Oh, we got another unknown, but that's okay. It can stay over there. Let me go get this parked. And get it hooked back up. And so that kind of solves our immediate power supply as well. By having all these batteries turned on and utilizing them. They were just kind of sitting there. I do have a plan to set up some of these batteries so I'll go back to harvesting the batteries like I was uh, but I also needed to get uh, uh, where was I at uh, oh I needed to get the material so I could produce like advanced computers and stuff so that we can do that so I'll continue to kind of do both all right let me uh, get this hooked back up I better put the brake on and we'll leave that on auto that should charge itself back up plus provide power to the base and 
We can place this right here. There we go. All right, that's hooked in. Okay, one of the things I wanted to do today was at least try out the flying machine. So, actually, let me get rid of all of this stuff. And... Uh, get rid of that, 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 uh, that one can't. That can, that can, that can. Uh, those can't. That can go here. The others can go in over here. And we can put that in there like that. And then I can run over. And store the rest of this stuff down in here. keep that can go that can go that can go and that can go all right oh and I've got some of those that I picked up we can get rid of those as well actually I probably should hang on to those just in case we get in a tight spot all right so we are gonna take the flying machine out and just see how far we can get with it uh, I can get rid of this. And we can disconnect. From here. We should be full of hydrogen. Actually, let me see something. Uh... Control panel, hydrogen. Where's my uh, hydrogen tanks? All right, it is 100% filled, both, both of them. And let's see, our O2. And our O2 tanks have ice in them. They're not full. But that's okay. We're just kind of taking this out for a test flight. Just to kind of see... Uh, how it... Uh, looks. So let me see. My tanks are on. Uh, those are all on. Uh, let's go ahead and turn this on. Uh... Our wheels are locked, and right now we're full. Our batteries are... Uh, and then, uh, so I'm gonna need to turn on all of my hydrogen engines. And let's, uh, let's unlock. So, let's, uh, we should be able to lift off. Oh, you know, we've got that extra tank on here, so I don't know. I can see that uh, my lift. So if I start adding weight to this thing, which 
you can kind of see it starting to drop. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to add a couple of more hydrogen engines on this. But let's just see what we can do. We're going to do a quick scan of stuff around here. I'm kind of hoping we can find some oil sand. So we'll keep an eye on our hydrogen tank. We're still at 100%. That's good. We're going to have to fly a little closer to the ground, which makes me a little bit nervous. I'm really hoping that we can find some oil sand. But I'm pretty sure we don't have enough lift to really haul anything back. Still looking good on our hydrogen, 100%. Oh, niter, niter. Let's, uh, we're, we're gonna need that. So let's sit down a little bit. That that's a good find. We just all we're going to do is mark it. down. We're just going to get down on the ground where we can create a... Alright, we should be close enough here that we can create a GPS. Uh, GPS. New from current. Field Niter. All right, we don't need to show that on there. All right, back up. Well, that was a great find. We need niter for ammunition. If we end up having to do battle, and we can make better better ammunition than rocks. Okay, so we got niter. I really would like to get oil sand. Of course, there's ice everywhere. Okay. Still picking up the niter. I thought maybe we were going to have to go into the hills.
can fly along over here. There was something kind of surprised nothing in this valley. Obviously, this, uh, if we find stuff out in this terrain, what, 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 what the hell? What the hell? Uh-oh. Why did we... I'm not understanding. Let's check something out here. All right, control panel. Uh, let's go inventory. generators oh we used up all the ice there I did I have something set wrong we're still 100% oh let me see something here oh let's do this Five. Aha. Okay. That's why we didn't have power. We were using, we were running off of our generators. Okay. Well, let's keep an eye on stuff. Well, we got, got lucky there. I was wondering why that wasn't going down at all. And that gives us more power, but we're using up hydrogen fairly quickly. I think it's a good idea to start returning back towards base. I don't want to run out again like I did last time. Yeah, this thing consumes a lot of hydrogen. That's why I wished I had better battery power. Okay, well, I learned one thing that we were able to get a little ways on the hydro uh, generators. So that's good to know. We did find Niter. 
And it looks like we're going to get back okay. So, coming back from there, we used about... We're going to use almost 50%. So that would be... We don't have a lot of range with this. But it's enough, I guess. Alright, we can get down here. Yeah, last time we came in with this, we uh, had, like, well, where it was parked was where it ran out of hydrogen. So we can park this a little closer this time. We were extremely lucky. There we go. We're down. Those are ready. All right. Now we can uh, turn that off. We can turn our engines off. We need to turn that to stockpile. I got to re refill it. And we're at 82%. I think we're fine on that. Uh, I think that's everything. We'll leave that because I want to be able to utilize the batteries on the base. So, all right. Let me hook this up. I guess I could have parked it a little closer. It looked like I was still a little... There we go. All right. Okay. Well, we learned a little more about the flying machine. All right. And we did find niter, which is a good thing. So we can actually uh, put an X on new ores. Let's do that. LCD panel. Let's edit that text. And All right, I think that looks pretty good. All right, so, niter, that's checked off. We just gotta go mine it now. All right. There we go. All right, something accomplished today. And we actually, uh, I'm not gonna check off the flying machine and prove flight distance because I'm still not happy with it. Uh, I still, still think we need to do a little more work on it and get that going so next so I guess next thing to do is I want to uh, start uh, I guess need to work on the power a little bit more and I think what I want to do is build another start working on the solar panel and I also want to work on adding a battery base up there utilizing the salvaged batteries that I'm getting from these unknown signals so I tell you what I will catch back up with you here in a little bit once I have some some of the layout done up there
for uh, the solar panels and for the another for more hydrogen engines. So I'll catch back up with you in a little bit. All right. Well, I've been doing a little bit of maintenance and starting to get some things laid out. Uh, the sunrise is coming up. I uh, filled this back up, and I think uh, next time we're going to take it out and try to find some more minerals. I not only have the O2 tanks all filled up, the hydrogen tanks are full, and I've got the medium cargo bays all filled with ice. So we should be able to go quite a bit of distance and scouting for uh, ores and minerals. So we're going to do that next time. Uh, we really need to get those so that we can make get it to our next level. But I'll kind of show you what I've got laid out up here. I've started laying out my solar tower. Uh, but I want to get my programmable block done and although I can make advanced computers, uh, it's going to be very, very slow because the only way I've been able to make it is to get the polymers from uh, the unknown signals that have dropped. And so just grinding those up, that's going to take an awful lot. But uh, I've got uh, the started to get the tower. Uh, I've got my first rotor set up. Let's get up here. There we go. So here's my rotor, and I'm going to be using Izzy's solar script. So uh, I'll have this rotor. I'll have a block set up right here with uh, arms going out, and then I'll have my solar panels set up on uh, each of those. And I'm going to have two, four, six, eight, uh, 16 solar panels set up out here. Uh, I'll have two arms, or I'll have a break it up. Uh, but you'll see it once, once I get enough materials to get the programmable block done. Uh, then we can lock these rotors into place and get everything set up on it. But that will produce quite a bit of power. The other thing that I have done and will do in finish up in the next episode is I went ahead and put another or at least wise I've got the I've got the uh, got it laid out with the uh, oh shoot what am I trying to say uh, the wireframe of another set of hydrogen engines. So I've got this hydrogen, i got another hydrogen engine, uh, another hydrogen tank, an O2 generator, and another small cargo bay. And between that, having that full and having that uh, set up uh, should really help with the base. And then I have one more thing that I want to do that I want to uh, utilize those salvage batteries and set up a battery uh, probably something right in here where I will take and uh, actually put in a rotor uh, and then replace it with a small head and then create a small platform with the small blocks small steel blocks and then I can uh, weld those batteries right onto here and those will act as a buffer and then I won't necessarily have to worry about all my other batteries in my uh, cargo bays. Anyway, I think that's about going to do it for this episode. Uh, we didn't get a whole lot done today. We did take the flying machine up and kind of uh, learned what it uh, uh, deficiencies might be uh, and what the commander's deficiencies are. No doubt about that. Uh, if you turn the tanks on, you'll go a lot farther and you'll have more power. Anyway, 
that's uh, we did that. I've got the wireframe set up for more power, and we did find uh, uh, niter. So we did get another X on the box there. So I'm thinking uh, next time we will take the flying machine out that's completely filled and do a scan around the area and hopefully we can find some oil sand and titanium because those are the two that I really need right now. We do have that one gold rock and usually if you find oil sand you're going to find lithium with it or vice versa. So uh, hopefully we can uh, find a couple of those. If not, we might have to go back up and visit the monks and use their scanner to see if we can't find some more. All right, I think that's going to do it. I uh, hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, all you space engineers, keep building away out there. And uh, if you like the video, please hit that thumbs up. And uh, please subscribe. It really helps the channel out a lot. With that, Commander Kingfish is out of here, and I will see you all in the next video.